Welcome everyone, namaste. Thank you for joining this morning. As we sit tall and we let our palms rest on your lap, I want us to take a moment to arrive and invite the heavier bones in your body to settle, expand and rest on your support. From your base, settled and expanded, invite a gentle lift through the spinal cord all the way up to the skies without tensing the shoulders, without bringing rigidity into your structure. Softening the skin in the face and moving the gaze in and down towards your lungs. We start tapping into our own breath and arriving to the practice. As I would usually do, I would be sharing today another part of the philosophy, philosophical principles that I usually do, but I truly feel that with all of the things that are happening and have happened this past week, in the world, in our country, I feel such a turmoil of emotions within myself and um, a lot of moments where I feel so unsettled that I felt the need to share something different and to use our bodies today as the vessel to bring awareness. I'm going to share a very short uh, piece from from Jack Cornfield, one of my meditation teachers, who um, wrote something a couple of days ago, and I wanted to share it. Amidst the pandemic, the continuing racism and political divisiveness and the ongoing targeting of people of color, we must deliberately turn toward the difficulties of the world and shine the light of awareness and compassion. The enemy, said my teacher Ajahn Chah, is delusion. Delusion blames others, creates enemies, and fosters separation. The truth is that we are not separate. War, racism, economic injustice, and the climate crisis all stem from the illusion of separateness. We can also see that no amount of material and scientific advancement will solve our biggest problems. The truth is these problems all arise in the human heart. Justice and economic and political renewal will fail unless we find a way to help people see our common humanity, our inseparable interconnection, and awaken a shared responsibility and a shared compassion for all. This is what we most need to stand up for in this troubled world. I find this an opportunity to listen, to sit and recognize within ourselves, within our hearts, the old habits that we carry in compassion, in awareness, without judgment, but a good opportunity to look at ourselves and perhaps pick up our own thoughts sometimes of discrimination, sometimes of inflated ego, feeling ourselves perhaps smarter, different, better than others. Tap into that whenever you see it showing up. Sit with those emotions, with those thoughts, with those things that arise to bring awareness, and work in your own heart. 
the more we work in our own hearts, the more we can spread that compassion, that understanding into our own homes and then into the world. Let's bring our palms together into the heart center and collectively hope and wish for peace, compassion and awareness to ourselves and this world. And then we'll open with the Yom sound if you choose to join, inhaling deeply through the nose, big exhale through the mouth, then breathing in again. Om. Whenever you feel ready, connect the head to the hands and the heart, the three together. Then we release the palms down to the lap lifting the head and opening the eyes. Welcome again. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, before I go to my mat, I'm going to say for one last time that today we are going to start by using something uh, that looks like a tennis ball or a therapy ball. So if you just jump into the class a little late and you can go and grab from your kids or, or your pets or from somewhere, something that resembles a ball, that's what we are doing first. And then I'm moving into my mat to start. So today I didn't tell you, but the work will be a lot related to the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is very much related to your immune system, to the way we release toxins from the body, the way we breathe, the water we carry, and sometimes we hold and create inflammation. A lot of things that I don't want to go super long because we need to move. Uh, but um, that um, lymphatic system is in between the skin and your muscles. So it's something that it's a little subtle, and uh, it's usually congregated in areas where we have concavity like the armpits, like the groins, like close to the knees, uh, in, and also in our core. So today the work will be moving our lymphatic system, and we are going to start with something that looks like a ball. <laughs> and I'm going to put it down on the floor or on your mat. And I'm going to start with the right foot for you guys. I'm going to uh, mirror. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to place that ball into my right arch. And I'm going to just, it's not extreme uh, pressure, I'm going to just press medium pressure onto the arch of my foot. And then I'm going to release that pressure. So we're going to do like little pumps. I'm going to press and then release. And again, press into that ball or therapy ball or tennis ball and then release. And again, we're going to do a few. Pressing and then releasing, mainly in the arch. Then we'll play with other areas. Then again, press and release. Remember, we don't need to go extremely hard because it's a subtle area that we want to activate. So you don't want to really push, okay? So I'm pressing like medium pressure and then out, two more. Press into the arch and then release that pressure. I still have my ball there under the arch. And one more, and out. Beautiful, now we are going to add something a little different. From here I'm going to do, um, I hope that you can see it, I'm going to put the ball at the base of my toes, so the, the base of the toes, and we're going to move in, in one direction only. So from the base of the toes, Medium pressure, I'm going to move that ball all the way to my heel. Now the challenge here is, I have a wall so I can use it, that then from there I'm going to lift my foot and then again go to the base of my toes and again I'm going to press all the way to my heel. And again I'm lifting my toes, going back to the ball to the top and then pressing back towards the heel. Okay, so I'm not coming back with the ball. Again, toes on top of the ball, and then back towards the heel. And if the ball keeps moving, you move with the ball like I'm doing. And again, press into the base of the toes, and then go all the way to your heel. And then again, base of the toes, back to the heel. We do a few more. Toes, like one line, gentle pressure. We are not killing our feet. And then again, 
and then one more. Good, I'm bringing my ball a little closer, super. Then after that, same foot, we are still on the right foot. Now what I'm going to do is circular motions around the whole base of my foot. So the whole sole of the foot, I'm creating like little circles. If you need support of a wall or something to hold on to, please do. Like I said, we are activating our lymphatic system today. So you'll see that I'm going to do some funky or different things mainly to create a flow where we are creating different relationships to gravity and also mobilizing those areas where the lymphs congregate, okay? Beautiful. After you do a little bit more of that, circular motions all over the base of your foot, you're going to release that and stand in Tadasana. And I'm inviting you to now feel any sensations, tingling, pulsing, anything that maybe you can pick up that it's different from the right side to the left side after that work with the therapy ball. Maybe it feels more stable, more grounded, perhaps not. Just sense that side. Good, and then we'll go to the second side. So I'm going to start now on the left arch. Same thing we are going to do for the second foot. So I'm going to stay first in my arch. I have very flat feet, so this is a very good practice for me. And I'm going to press gently into that arch and then release it. Press gently and then release. Try and do more or less 10. So I'm going three and release. Four and release. Five. Six, seven, good. just a few more, maybe three more like I'm doing. Noticing the sensations, mainly in the arch this time. And last one. Good, and then release that. Now we're going to do that line that goes from the base of the toes all the way to the end of your foot. And again, from the top all the way to the back. So try and do 10 also. And I'm trying to keep the ball more or less in the same place, but I'm not coming back, right? So I'm lifting my foot, putting my toes again, the base of the toes, and walking that ball. And again, a few of those. Good, and again, from the base to the heel. I'm adding a few more. Good, let's say two more here. Good, and the last exercise that we do, creating circles. I'm coming closer to the center so you can see. And I'm going to just create a circular motion all around the base of my foot. Remember, it's not extremely hard. I'm just mobilizing there, going subtle into that layer that is beneath the skin to create more activation and movement and activate all of the lymphatic system. Okay, so a little bit more. Good, and after that release, take that therapy ball to the side. Take a moment to stand again in Tadasana once you take that belt out and notice now again one side and the other. Give yourself a moment. Good. Beautiful. Then from here, we are going to create a different relationship to gravity to start moving again all of our uh, lymphatic system. So from here, don't panic. <laughs> we are going to do our best. I'm going to put my elbows down a little bit narrower than my shoulders. I'm coming towards a tabletop, but with my forearms down. And I'm going to lace my fingers. And as I lace my fingers, sometimes I like to keep my pinky fingers down, pressing down for more support, but you can just lace them if you need. And from here, what I'm going to do first is to move my knees a few inches behind my hips and tuck my toes. 
And with my elbows and my wrists, I'm going to push the floor away. So my chest starts coming towards my hips. And then from there, I'm going to hover my knees, release the head and lift up into what we call a dolphin pose. My knees are bent to start and I'm going to push the floor away to send that chest towards my legs, drawing the ribs in, releasing the head. And then I'm going to walk my feet just a little bit closer so I can start slowly lengthening through the heels and extending the heels towards the back of my mat. I'm pushing the floor away with the forearms. I'm releasing the head. And I'm taking a few breaths here. And like I said, we are creating a different relationship to gravity. So we awaken our system. Another full breath here. Push the mat away. And then we are going to bring the feet a little closer to one another. Of course, if you need to come down, you're going to come down into child's pose. If you're okay staying here for a little longer, press into your left foot, push through your elbows and forearms, and lift your right leg up. We are going to inhale through the nose and exhale. One more inhalation. And then exhale, bring the right foot down. Last side, inhale, left leg up and back. Firm the hips in, belly in, push the chest towards the right thigh. One more breath. And then release that left foot, bring the knees down and we come into child's pose. Release the arms, rest the forehead. And in this moment that we rest for um, a few seconds, give yourself an opportunity to notice the pace of your breath. And as we bow, a chance to set your intention for this practice, for maybe dedication to someone who may be in need of your practice, your compassion, your awareness today. Beautiful, one more breath here. Long and steady finding that Ujjayi breath. And then slowly we come up towards a seat. We are going to bring our legs in front. I'm going to show you here. We are going to start with the right leg bent in front and the left one behind, okay? So it's, it looks a little bit like an S and my right foot is a little bit like close to the inside of my uh, left thigh. My hands are going to come in front of my heart like the namaste or prayer position and we are going to do a few windshield wipers here. Don't take it too seriously. It's not about form today but it's activating our um, groins and our chest and armpits. Okay, so what we're going to do here is sitting tall, use your core to lift you up and we're going to lift both, both knees and send them to the other side. And then again, lift both knees and come to the opposite side, okay? Keeping the hands in front of the chest or in front of you. Try to bring both knees to one side, sitting tall, then back to center and the other side. And again, up and switch and up and switch. Two more, up and switch and up and the last side good we come back to center release the hands and reset yourself extend the legs and shake them a little good now i'm going to show another one that is similar but a little bit more challenging now i'm starting with my right leg in front it looks a little bit like the pigeon pose and the uh, back leg the left leg it's similar to what we just did, but I'm just now starting with my torso facing into my right leg. Again, I'm going to have my hands in front of the chest. Watch this for a moment. The right knee needs to be grounded and touching the floor if it's or the mat. If it's not touching down, then you're going to put a blanket underneath, or if you need support for that knee, please fold the blanket and put it there, okay? The work that I'm going to do is to keep that right knee pushing down into my mother, into the blanket without lifting, 
we are going to work with honesty here and truth. And I'm going to keep that knee without moving and I'm going to start lifting the opposite knee as you can see that I'm trying. Now I'm trying to at the same time press that right knee down and when I feel that my left knee cannot go any further, then there is when I'm going to come into kind of like the squat shape. And then I'm going to try and keep that knee without moving and I'm going to try and bring my left knee down. So I'm trying to not drop my right knee, but bring just the left one down. I'm trying to lift my trunk also. When I get there, I'm going to push that left knee down and then you can bring that right knee also to the journey, okay? Now I'm going to start on my left side. So we go from side to side and it's slow. I'm pressing my left knee down, I'm lifting the spine, I'm keeping that knee heavy into the floor, and then I'm going to just lift my right side as much as I can. It's challenging, okay? So go easy. When I cannot go any further and that knee wants to start lifting, then I'm going to come up. I'm going to keep both knees there for a moment, lift through the spine, and then I'm going to keep that knee where it is, bring the right knee down and push it down into the floor. Then we bring that left knee over. Good, let's go again. Press that right knee down onto your blanket or mat. Lift that left knee. Keep that right knee heavy, 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 heavy until you cannot go any further. And then we go up. Good, I'm keeping my right knee heavy bringing the left knee down, ah, yay. And then when I cannot go any further, right knee comes down alone. Good, let's go again. Left knee pushes down, lift that right knee up, keep that left knee heavy, 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 heavy. Then when you cannot go any further up, and we switch, keep the left knee where it is, and we bring that right knee down, push it down, and then we release. Okay, last one, each side, push into the right knee, lift that left knee, take it far, far, far. The more we practice, the better it gets. Then we come to center. Good, stay there, send that left knee down as much as you can. Then we bring that knee over. Ah, last one, keep the left knee drilling your floor, or your mat. Lift your right knee up, 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 up. Draw the navel up. Good, then I'm taking the right knee over, lifting the left one, push that knee down, 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 and then bring the left knee over. Ah, release the arms, bring the legs in front, shake them a little, I know it feels a little intense. And now we are going to take another child's pose for a moment. And now I'm going to modify this child's pose and I'm going to make you bring your knees towards one another. And this is another exercise where we are going to activate our lymphatic system. So child's pose, but with the thighs together. If you want to watch it once, it's pretty simple. But what I'm going to do from here is to lift my right knee out to the side, to the center, and back down. And then I'm going with my left, out to the center, forward, and back. Then with the right, out, forward and back and out with the left forward and back let's go again out forward and back out elbow back keep going out forward and down out forward and back two more each side Notice your breath, try to keep a fluid cycle. Last one. Good, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then we'll slide onto our mats to come into our bellies. We are going to widen the fingertips right off your mat, extend through the legs. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the chest, bring the shoulder blades down and send the tips of your shoulders out and down behind you. Draw the navel in, sacrum down, 
Exhale, release. Bring your hands under the shoulders, back your toes, and up we go, downward facing dog. A regular down dog with your feet hip distance apart. You can spin your fingertips out a little, push the mat away, draw the ribs in, send the sacrum up. Let the spine feel long, external rotation in the upper arm bones, and then relax the neck, make your head heavy, let the contents of your brain drop to earth. One more breath here. Good. Then we gaze forward in between the hands and walk your feet slowly towards your hands. Good. Relax the torso there over the legs. You can bend your knees. Good. Bring your hands onto your hips. Roll the shoulders back. Press the center of your heels down. Lengthen the heart away from the belly and come up into standing. Tadasana. Beautiful. Good. From here, we are going to inhale, arms up overhead. Lace your fingers and send your index fingers up to the ceiling. And I want you to lift through the inner arches, press through the center of your heels, base of your toes spread, lift through the sides of your torso. Good, and we're going to do little pumps in this, um, in this uh, little flow that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to lengthen the spine and bring the heart up and back a little, and I'm going to go back and forward just a few times. It's, again, it's not super big. Sacrum long, lift the navel up and pump back and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight. We come back, release through the arms, inhaling arms up overhead, exhaling we fold, inhaling halfway and lengthen. Exhale, walk back to downward facing dog. Push your mat away, lengthen the sides. And then we'll bring our knees down. Sit back on your heels for a moment and I'll show you the next little flow. From here, watch this. I'm going to put my right hand behind my right butt, let's say, or right sitting bone or foot. And from there, as I push into the mat, I'm going to inhale and lift the chest, sacrum down. Exhale, I'm coming down. And I'm going to switch left hand behind me. Inhale, lift, open through the chest, sacrum in. Exhale, release. Again, inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We go again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Activate your core, lift from the pubic bone up, exhale. Nice, we come into tabletop. Ha. Ready? Let's go. Downward facing dog. Stay there and I'll show you what's coming. Good. Inhale your right leg up and back. Bring your right knee to the chest. Push the mat away in the plank pose. Lift the knee towards the nose. Widen the upper back. Then send that right leg up and back. Right foot comes forward. Left knee comes down. Now I want you to watch this for a moment because I'm going to do a little bit of a sequence here. So we are going to repeat it a few times. So watch it one time. So we came to the low lunge. We are going to do first, don't do it. I'll show you quick. First, we're going to do a twist. Then I'm showing quick, right? But we're going to twist. Then we are going to come to the low lunge and bring the left knee towards the back of the right leg. Then I'm going to go back and go into a side plank. Then I'm going to sit down. 
Then I'm going to go back to the side plank. Then I'm coming back to my lunge and then I'm twisting again. Don't panic, I'll do it with you, okay? But we're going to flow with that so we move our lymphatic system. Let's do it. So I'm in the low lunge, left hand down. You can put a block if you need. Inhale, twist, opening the chest. Exhale, stay. Inhale again. Exhale, release the right hand. Press into that right foot so you can lift the left knee, bring it forward, then re-extend, bring the knee down. Good, now turn that uh, left shin. We go to the right and we open, squeeze the glutes into one another, then we are going to sit. So you just cross that right leg over, then we re-extend and we come back towards that lunge. Let's go again, inhaling, open up. Exhale, right hand down. Lift the left knee, bring it towards the right leg. Re-extend, come down. We go to the side plank. We sit, we re-extend, we come back to the lunge. One more, let's go, open up. Exhale, release. Lift the left knee, bring it towards the right leg. Re-extend, come down. We go into side plank. Sit onto your sitting bones. Re-extend, bring the right leg. And we go from here to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Ah, exhale, let it go through the mouth. Good, second side. We are going to inhale the left leg up and back. Left knee to the chest, push the mat away. Lift that knee towards the nose. Left leg up and back. Let's go second side. Left foot forward, right knee comes down. Same thing. Twist towards your left. Then release that left hand, lift the right knee, bring the right knee to the left foot or left knee, re-extend, come down, turn over, side plank, then we come and sit, then we re-extend side plank, and back to that lunge. Let's go again. Inhale up, exhale, release. Lift the right knee, bring the knee towards the left leg. Re-extend, come down. Side plank with support, sitting down. Re-extend, bring it back. One more, let's go. Inhale, twist. Coming down. Right knee towards the left shin. Coming back, release. Side plank lift, sitting down, one more, coming forward, and back to downward facing dog. From down dog, we come to plank, come all the way down, beautiful. Good, from here, cobra pose, roll the shoulders, extend through the legs, zip up the navel to the nose, exhale. Tuck your toes, up we go, downward facing dog. We are going to take a few breaths here. And then you'll bring your knees down. Good, we are all alive. <laughs> and take a child's pose. Everyone come down. Take a few breaths. You are doing great. So like I was saying in the beginning, the lymphatic system plays a big, big part or essential role in healthy immunity, circulation, detox. So as we encourage the flow of the lymphatic system in our bodies, we are also regulating our nervous system, 
We regulate the water inside our bodies. And it's a work that it's more subtle. So you want to breathe and come back to your system. And notice the sensations around your joints. And as we listen to our bodies, we have this chance to really bring our own wisdom, to sit with the things that arise that perhaps are uncomfortable or difficult to sit with. And we bring compassion and empathy so we can work on those without judgment. And as we look at ourselves, then we can bring that compassion and empathy into our homes and the world around us. Good, then slowly lifting up. We are going to take another exercise here. Let's come into a squat. If you need to roll a blanket and put it under your heels, you're going to do that, or put a block underneath your sitting bones. I'm making my feet pretty wide because we are going to play a little bit here, again, to create more movement in the lymphatic system. So first I'm coming into my malasana or squat and I'm sitting with my arms inside my legs. I'm lifting through the spine. And I'm going to start with the right side first, extending that right arm out to the side as I'm pushing that right leg. Watch for a moment. I'm going to extend the left arm up. So this is a twist, but today I'm going to add more lymphatic work, okay? So we are going to inhale here, and exhale, bring the arms together, or my palms together. And again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Remember, take a support if you need for your seat. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. And then I'm returning to center, beautiful. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Beautiful, second side, left arm inside the leg, I'm pushing it, so I'm creating already a little bit of um, tug of war there, right, to support myself, and then I'm going to send the left arm, uh, right arm up, sorry, and from here we inhale and come back. Inhale, exhale. We add two more, go with your breath. Good, hands towards the center. I know you feel a little bit of burning. That's the work that we are going for. And then slowly bring the hands and behind you. Sit onto your sitting bones, extend the legs and shake them a little. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. There's a little bit more torture <laughs> for today. So now from here, I'm going to take a block and we are going to set it in front of the mat. One last sequence that we are going to move actively and then we'll sit and we'll do some uh, releases, okay? So I'm going to, I'm gonna show you, but I'm going to have my block tall in front of me. It can be medium, but any height that works for you. And I'm standing in Tadasana right in front of my block. And I'm going to start with my right hand on the block. The block is more or less in the middle, but I'm going to put my hand on the block, uh, right hand first. And the word here is watch for a moment. I'm going to draw my abdomen in, lengthen the heart away from the belly, roll the shoulders back. And the work will be this. This is a little bit of balancing and also creating that fire into the lymphatic system. I'm going to inhale, extend, opposite arm and leg, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, exhale. Again, 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, extend, extend, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale, firming hips, firming the core. Inhale, exhale. Then release that right leg and fold in Uttanasana. Bend the knees if you need. Good. Let's go with the second side. Left hand onto my block. Now it's the right arm and the left leg, opposite sides, okay? Make the right leg super active by pressing into the base of your toes, pushing into the center of your heel. Lengthen the spine, draw the belly up. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Last one. Release that left leg, release the arms, draw the lower belly up, bend the knees if you need, relax the head. Good, and then we are going to come up, but we are going to let our spine be rounded, but you need to press firmly into your heels and the base of your toes and draw your lower belly up. Slowly moving up one vertebra at a time until we come up to standing, head last, relax the shoulders, feel your body here, inhale, exhale, and one more, softening the face. Beautiful. Good, we are going to move the block out to the side and we are going to do our last standing posture with the legs wide, pressing into the outer edges of the feet. So find your length there in your mat. Beautiful, lengthen through the sides, rolling. First, before we roll, lift through the sides from the hips up to your armpits, like if the front of your armpits, they want to come up to your ears. And then from there, send the shoulders back and down. Feel those elbows coming a little closer to one another. Lengthen the sacrum down. Push into the outer edges of your feet. And we're going to take a little bit of a back bend here. Inhaling, we send the sternum up. Sacrum down, lift the navel to your nose. Shoulder blades into one another. And then with the exhale, we slowly start bringing the torso forward. Draw the lower belly up. Put your hands down and then release through the head and the torso. Option here to bring your hands a little further back if you want, releasing through the head and the neck. Creating again a different relationship to gravity. One more breath. And then slowly as we come halfway up, one more opportunity to lengthen the heart away from your belly. Roll the shoulders back, lift the heart towards the front of your womb, and then heel toe your feet until they are closer, almost hip distance apart. Good, press into your feet, inhale, come all the way up, arms overhead, exhaling to center, and we release. Beautiful. Let's slowly come onto our mats down. Good. And we are going to do a couple of um, different things here again today for that movement in the body. So I'm going to lie down onto my back and I'm going to place my right foot on top of the left one. So I'm just crossing my right ankle over to the left and I'm going to extend both my arms overhead. Good. And with my left hand, I'm going to catch my right wrist, okay? Pull a little bit from that right wrist, extend through the right side. And then we are going to try and find the shape of a moon or half moon or crescent moon by sending both legs as they are to the left and pulling that right wrist and arm towards the left as well. 
okay? Once you find that sensation in your body of that moon shape or banana shape, notice if your right hip is lifted off your mat and see if you can ground that right hip towards the floor. So we are trying to create from that point in your hip and waistline more opening all the way to the edges, right? Or the ends of your body, all the way up to the fingernails and all the way down to your toes. And I'm going to keep you here for several breaths. So we really, really get into that side. It is supposed to, um, for this work today, we are supposed to stay there for a minute. So I'm going to keep you there for a little bit, perhaps a little less than a minute, but I want you to tap into your breath and feel that opening in the whole right side. Relaxing the skin in the face. Just a few more breaths. Beautiful last breath here in your cycles. And then slowly bring yourself back to neutral, okay? Don't rush it, don't force it. Just come to neutral, take that right foot out to the side. And then we are going to cross the left foot over the right one, so the ankle just on top. And we are going to switch now the right hand, catching the left right uh, wrist or a little bit lower. First stay there at the center and just pull that left side up. Feel that stretch without the uh, banana shape, quote unquote. And then slowly take yourself to the opposite side than we did before. So now we are going towards the right, pulling that arm to the right side, bringing both legs to the right as well. And feel that sensation of the stretch in the side. And I'm going to keep you there again for almost a minute. Okay. Notice if your left hip is lifted or lifting off your mat and see if you can ground it a little more, bringing that left sitting bone a little closer to earth. So we invite a little bit more opening. And as you breathe intentionally, creating space in the pause, in stillness, we find steadiness. We find our center. Go there. With the eyes of compassion, of love, of empathy. Your last breath here. And then you'll slowly return towards the center. When you come back to the center, release your arms alongside your torso, release the legs, almost like a two second Shavasana there. Notice your whole body here at the center. Good. And then Slowly invite your knees to move towards your chest and rock a little bit from side to side. Good, and I'm going to give you a couple of options for one of our last postures today. So if you want to take a bridge pose, just a regular formal uh, bridge pose, you'll place your feet down. This is a good opener for the chest. Very good for uplifting our moods when we feel sad or ill. And uh, what we are going to do is in the regular bridge pose, walk the shoulders away from the ears, tuck your shoulder blades towards one another, pressing into your feet, which are 
uh, sitting bone distance apart or a touch wider than that. And then you can either grab your mat, push through the elbows or push your mat away to lift up and then lace the fingers underneath. Okay, I'm showing this quickly because I want to give you some other options, okay? That would be a regular bridge pose. If you want to take a very similar shape but without the more active uh, way of doing it, then you can use a block underneath your pelvis, any height right under your sacrum, not on your lower back, and you create the same actions for the upper back and the shoulders, so you can be more rested and activate less of the core, less work uh, in the center, but yes, still the opening in the chest. Uh, if none of these feel like it's a good one for you, last week I did a few hard openers. I was working a lot on uh, upper body and chest, and I used also a version of putting the block um, middle height and set the shoulder blades right on top. My block is hard, so it can be a little hard. You can always put a blanket on top, then you cross your legs like a cross leg position. You can lace your fingers or interlock the fingers behind the head and then just rest here with the head supported and the elbows out. This can feel intense. It's a little bit of the same idea of the bridge pose in the sense of the back bend and the opening, okay? But maybe this feels like it's your thing today instead of the other one. So pick any of those and give yourself a few breaths here. If you are taking my last uh, proposition, you stay there for a few breaths, letting the head be supported by your hands, opening the elbows, feeling that expansion in the chest that perhaps feels a little bit more intense than the other um, bridge options. Two more breaths for everyone, whichever is the shape that you chose. And then you slowly return to your mat, either in the first version, just bringing the pelvis down and the whole torso down slowly. If you have the block under the pelvis for the supported bridge, take that block out so you can bring your torso down. For the last one with the block behind the chest, just press, uh, you send the arms out to the sides or press into your elbows, roll over to one side and then you push up to a seat. Always gentle entering or entry ways and gentle uh, ways to uh, move out of the posture so you don't upset your muscles, okay? Good, as usual, I'm going to invite you to end the practice either with your legs up a wall, if you do have a wall, um, and then uh, you can always stay there for the whole uh, reman remainder of the practice, okay? So legs up a wall, something that you can put the legs on, it can be a dresser, a sofa, a bed, okay? If you don't have a wall at all, I'm going to say either block under the pelvis and three breaths with your legs up the, uh, up no wall, but supported with the block. And then uh, after those three breaths, you're going to prepare for Shavasana. Like I'm always or regularly um, saying, if you don't have a support for the legs, this posture is a very good cooling, restorative way to end a practice, but you don't want to take Shavasana with the legs without any support, okay? So if your legs are up the air, like I see some of you, then after three to four breaths, bring them down and prepare yourself for Shavasana. For the ones who have the legs up the wall, you can keep them there. Start releasing your whole structure towards earth, we give ourselves the opportunity to return to the source. May this moment 
of deep unrest be a fever that serves to heal us. May the best of who we rise up in glory and our shadow places dissolve in light. Bless the lovers and heal the haters. Pave a path for our country out of pain and into peace. Give us strength and show us the way to make our country a better place. Dear God, Amen. Receive a deep inhalation through the nose, a big exhale through your mouth. Keep your face kind, eyes soft, as you return to the room you are in, to your own body. And give yourself a moment to reanimate different areas as you move your fingers, Wiggle your toes, maybe moving your wrists. Add any movement that feels appropriate for you, gentle and slow. So you can also move your chin from side to side if you want, or bend the elbows and place your palms on your abdomen. And as you add more movement, make your way slowly into bending the knees, perhaps sending your arms overhead with a big inhalation. When you feel ready, roll over to one side. Give yourself a moment to press up and find a seat. With eyes closed and your palms connecting to the sacred space of the heart. We take a moment in silence to come back to our hearts. May we bow to our hearts and be a beacon of peace, 
a fearless career of respect and loving kindness for all life, a teller of truth, a voice for justice, a protector of those who are vulnerable or targeted. May the power of wisdom, integrity, our compassion, and compassion be our guide. Let's close with the OM sound, inhaling deeply. Big exhale, then breathing in again. Oh.